Hey everyone, so in this video, I just wanted to plot our global minimum variance portfolio and actually just show another way of how we can actually pool and find the global minimum variance portfolio. So earlier in our last video, we just put it like so, but we can actually do it in a different way. So we can take our portfolios data frame and we can just say, we can look at the volatility column and we can just use the IDX min function. And we can run that. And that will give us the index, the minimum index, where, where this column is. So essentially, we're looking for the, the smallest value in the volatility column. And we can take this, and we can put this within our portfolios data frame. Dot, we can use the dot I lock function in pandas. And I lock is going to, we're just essentially putting in 829, the index, to find the index in our portfolios um, data frame. So we can run that, and there we go. And so we can see here, like so. And so we can see our volatility. We can see the different weightings for the different um, asset classes that we have here. Now let's actually try to pl plot this. So I'm going to just call this minimum var portfolio is equal to so. And then I'll, I'll put that again. Then we're going to plot this. So we're going to we're going to import do something different. Let's import matplotlib matplotlib.pyplot as plt, and then we're going to say plt dot. And I'm going to do a subplot here. And essentially, what I'm doing here is I'm I'm making the sizing of our plot. So. You'll see in a second. So I'm going to say fig size equals, and I'm just going to pick 20 by by 10. And you can adjust this later, like so. And then we just have to say plt dot scatter, and we're going to say our portfolios. So our portfolios data frame, and we want to look at the volatility column. And so scatter. This is the this is going to be our x-axis, and then now we want to look at portfolios returns and this is going to be our and that should be plt subplots so let's run that again there we go so now we can actually see our efficient frontier we'll create a scatter plot of our or we'll plot our minimum variance portfolio so we'll say plt dot scatter minimum var portfolio and we want to look at again one the index is one and so that's going through the volatility. This, this is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we're looking at the 1, um, the 1 value here. So we can do that minimum bar portfolio. And we can say minimum bar portfolio and the 0th element, which is going to be returns. Because remember, this is the x axis, the y axis, the x axis, the y axis. And we can also specify color here. So let's see if that works on that. And there we go. We've plotted out our minimum variance portfolio. We can see where it's located on our efficient frontier. So if you like this video, please subscribe. In our next video, we're going to move on with our optimal risky portfolio. So until next time, thanks.